Constructive, sometimes also called divergent plate boundaries, exist in the parts of the world where magma is rising up in the mantle below. This rising magma cools off and spreads out. Some of it solidifies and creates new crust which begins to slowly move apart as two separate tectonic plates. These types of boundary mostly appear at the bottom of the sea. Destructive, sometimes also called convergent boundaries, are areas where tectonic plates are being carried towards each other, but there are actually two different types. If an oceanic plate is moving towards a continental plate, the oceanic plate is forced underneath because it is denser, in a process we call subduction. As the oceanic plate sinks into the mantle, water and things like dead plankton on the seafloor are dragged down with it. These are turned into water vapour and carbon dioxide which bubble upwards and melt through the continental crust above, get trapped in the rock. Pressure begins to build up, much like it does when you shake a bottle of fizzy drink, and eventually, the pressure in the crust becomes too great and the gas and lava violently explode out of the rock in a volcanic eruption. Extremely powerful earthquakes can also happen at these destructive boundaries. The oceanic crust doesn't simply slide gently past a continental plate. These huge rough slabs of rock are constantly grinding against and getting stuck on each other. And when they do get stuck, the continental plate starts getting dragged down with the oceanic plate. It builds up a huge amount of energy as this happens. And when the plates finally become unstuck, the plate violently jolts upwards, releasing all of the stored energy and causing intense shaking in the ground. The second type of destructive plate boundary is known as a collision boundary. The big difference here is that both of the tectonic plates are continental, so they have roughly the same density. They crash head on and crumple upwards, creating what we call old mountains. You can see this is happening between tectonic plates like the Indian and Eurasian plates, where the force of the two plates colliding has created the mighty Himalayas mountain range. Where two tectonic plates are sliding past each other, either in opposite directions or in the same direction at different speeds. The edges of the plate get stuck on each other as they grind past and you probably know the rest by now. It builds up energy and after a while they jolt back into moving again and the energy gets released causing the ground to shake. 